Good morning, everybody. I'm Kyle. I'm Parker. I'm Lynn. And I'm Lindsay. And we are QZ. This semester, our team worked on a timer that can act as a tool in the public speaking realm, specifically designed for professors and teachers. The timer has a very simple ergonomic design and may be seen running in the top right of your screen for the duration of this presentation. When we met with Ken months ago, we initially didn't believe there was anything we could provide him to improve his daily life. He was satisfied with his routines, tools, and methods in his career as a math professor at Front Range Community College. After reminiscing with Lindsay, both of us being transfers from FRCC, about how notorious Ken is for being late and the coffee mug he has never seen without, an idea was born. We thought that it might be helpful to any person with a busy schedule and on the go to have a convenient method of setting a subtle timer to keep themselves on track and moving. We started by making designs out of Play-Doh and objects that we already had. Also using paper in order to fetch out ideas and think of different orientations. We went with this decision tree. Um, we started with the timer koozie and we had different iterations. The biggest change we had was the e-ink display, which we were going to use for our final product. However, due to the refresh rate of it, we decided to go with a seven segment display. Drawing inspiration from a koozie that hugged its mug as if it were a snap bracelet, we opted for our main case to be a wooden living hinge where patterned portions of wood are removed to allow it to bend. We took to the laser cutter to rapid prototype various woods and patterns and discovered that the most feasible and durable option consisted of a one-to-one -one ratio of spring joint to wood depth with a straight hinge pattern. Adding a length of measuring tape manually bent against its natural curve and we now had it created our own wooden snap bracelet koozie. Moving to the inside of the QZ, some of our biggest challenges were determining the best LED and the circuit layout that would be integrated to our final product. We explored several types of LEDs and circuit designs and dabbled with flexible, unconventional wiring techniques. We settled on our final design consisting of clear RGB LEDs with a common anode and sanded to enhance diffusion of light, all daisy chained together on electroplated copper tape rails. Here is an exploded view of the simulation running in the corner of your screen. We had to use Tinkercad code to code the electronics due to the COVID-19 restrictions. Otherwise, this would be a symbol in real life. But the code and wiring are still accurate. Here we can see the plus and minus buttons in the middle, a 50 minute preset button on the left, and a start stop button on the right. Note we had to use an LCD for this simulation as the seventh segment could not be used with our software. The NeoPixel disk counts down the time and the LCD is the primary user interface for this online setup. The code functions on a simple logic structure. It basically continually reads the button input for continuous user interaction. And then once the user has set the desired time, the lights will begin their countdown by setting a time delay per light. For instance, for a 30 minute timer, the first light will turn off after three minutes, the second after six, and so on. At the end of the time, all the lights will flash and the UI will return to its idle configuration. When initially beginning the CAD process, our goal was to provide a simple user layout for timer control and accommodate user grip and cup holders. We ultimately decided to create a curved base to provide more stability to the individual pieces, increase water resistance, and allow the product to hug the mug. The neoprene serves as a texturized rubber backing for the model and provides both grip to the cup and grip for the weight. We were able to keep the flexibility of the living hinge method in the wings of the product with the slap band metal band providing further grip. For safety, we added a Velcro strap on the outer edge of the band so it can be tightened. Overall, the CAD gave us the opportunity to explore different methods and strategies that would be needed to bring this idea to life. Throughout this project, I learned how important it is to spend plenty of time brainstorming before you begin to be creative when approaching problems and share ideas with each other. While I've had a lot of experience with people this semester, I really had the opportunity to expand my hard skills with both the workshops and creating models during the CAD design process. I learned to find the balance between being proactive and sharing the workload, and what a great resource each team member can be if you ask. I'm really proud of each of the team members and myself for the new skills we had to learn in a short space of time to make this possible. Through hands-on experience in scouring research papers, the design and production of our QZ helped me learn and gain experience with the design and physics of circuitry, surface mount soldering techniques, types and functionality of RGB LEDs, setup and operation of laser cutters, 
And I also learned about the fascinating properties of copper, how to electroplate, sensor, and precipitate copper nanoparticles for conductive paint. What I learned the most about was part selection. Through this circuit, there's a, there were many different ways that electronics that we could have used in order to make the circuit work. However, choosing ones that work together is kind of like finding the right puzzle piece for a puzzle. And once you get the right piece, they all link together and work together. This semester, I had a lot of fun learning and improving my Arduino skills. I found value in simply working on a team and practicing synergy through the facet of communication, goal setting, and conflict resolution. And perhaps some of the most unexpected growth came while working through the human-centered design process, something that I was not familiar with before. With that, that concludes our introduction presentation. We look forward to connecting with you at the Design Expo. Thank you for your time.